it's Marissa from LittleHouseLiving.com. Today I wanted to show you my gardening and preserving journal. Now this journal is something that me and my husband um, designed together and printed it. Um, we came up with this idea because it was something that we personally needed for our garden and our preserving journeys every year. Um, so I wanted just to show it to you today so you can actually see what it looks like inside. So we made this a nice size so you can carry it down to your garden with you. Um, it has a spiral binding so you can open it up and it will lay flat so it makes it easy to write in or to draw in or um, anything like that. There's the front. Inside of the journal we have um, a layout of each month and each month kind of gives you a space to write in your notes on what you need to prepare that month. You can write it out ahead of time or um, during the month. And then it goes into designing your garden. And there's several sections in this part of the book. So you can kind of design an overall garden. You can break it down to different sections or maybe um, write different areas. Like if you have a separate herb garden or a flower garden that you wanna plan out. There's plenty of space in here for that. And then it goes into writing down your seeds. Now, I always buy seeds and then I forget where I buy them from or I forget which variety I bought. So this is an easy way to keep track of what you buy, when you planted it, if you liked it or not, um, how much it costs because Sometimes there's a big difference between one seed catalog and another seed catalog for the exact same thing. So this way you can keep track of everything. So next year when you're wondering, man, those greens that we, that we planted were so good, what kind of seed was that? You can go in here and find out what it was, where you bought it from, all that information so you can know to plant it again or to not plant it again if you didn't like it. Um, there's plenty of space if you have a big garden and you plant a lot of different seeds. Um, I know that I always plant like 30 different kinds of seeds, so I made sure there was plenty of space in here for that. Um, then there's a small section where you can write in um, different things that you use in your garden. And then it goes into the inventory pages. Now. I always want to make sure that I use up my inventory from the prior year before I say can a whole bunch of tomatoes and I already have a hundred jars of tomatoes left in my pantry. So there's a beginning in the season canned goods and freezer goods section and an end of the season. So the beginning in the season you write down what you need to use up. This is really good to do in like um, January or before your gardening season starts. So you can see what you still need to use up before you plant your garden for this year. Or maybe last year you canned so much jelly that you don't need to um, do any jelly this year. And this inventory will help you easily see that without having to dig around and find all your canned goods. So this is a good um, inventory to get started with. There's plenty of space to record your canned goods. Um, there's space to re record frozen goods if you like to freeze certain things. And then it goes into the section of recipes. So um, I usually can a lot of basics. So straight up tomatoes or applesauce or something like that. I don't use a lot of recipes, but for the ones that I do, maybe I wanna can a certain soup base or something like that. This is a section that you'd write those recipes in. So there's space to kind of keep it all together Maybe you find a recipe that in January that you know that you want to use um, during the canning season. So you might want to write it down in here so you've got it all in the same place. So when it comes to canning season, which we all know can get super crazy, they are all right here for you. You don't have to be flipping through a bunch of books or trying to check out books from the library or things like that. You just got them all written down right in your gardening journal. So the next section is that um, harvest time, the end of the season, canned goods inventory and freezer goods and things like that. So this is what you write down after you are done preserving or um, keeping track while you're preserving or things like that. So you can see 
how much harvest you got from your garden. This is awesome and really useful for the next year. So you can see, okay, I went and I planted 10 tomato plants and this is how many jars of tomatoes that I got from those 10 tomato plants. It's very helpful so you can plan the next year and um, make your garden just that much more efficient. So there's a space for canned goods, there's a space for frozen goods, and in this section we've also got a space for dehydrated goods if you like to do that too. Um, I personally like to dehydrate fruits and things like that, so I use this section to keep track of um, what I was able to dehydrate and how much of it. Uh, we also have a cold storage inventory. Um, you may or may not do cold storage depending on the space that you have for it. I always do cold storage because it is my favorite way to preserve food. Um, because you don't have to do anything to it. You just put it away in cold storage and it's good. Um, so this is where you can kind of keep track of how much item or how many items you put in cold storage. Um, it is it's useful because then you know, okay, this year I put away 50 pounds of potatoes and then you can kind of go through and remember how long that lasted you and see if you need to plant more next year or um, things like that. And then there's space for notes in the back. Um, anything else that you might have forgotten or there may have not been space for. The other nice thing that we did with this book is made the back of each page blank. So. If you are a doodler or a drawer, you can write different notes over here or journal or anything like that. Um, anything that you want to keep track of for next year that you want to keep in this book, um, there's plenty of space for that because we purposefully made the backs of these pages blank. So you can draw or even, I mean, maybe you even want to tape a picture or tape a seed packet or something in here. Um, you can keep track of everything. So that is my gardening and preserving journal. Like I said, this is something that me and my husband um, wrote and designed together. Um, we designed it because we needed it and I hope that you need it too. Um, just to kind of keep your, keep your brain about you when you are working in your garden and preserving this year. Our journal is only available in our personal store, which is homesteadmade.com. So I hope that you'll check it out and um, find it useful for your upcoming gardening and preserving year.